tonight. First of five thousands of dead fish plague a local waterway, and many Hampton residents say the situation stinks. More than 50,000 Menhaden washed ashore at Buckrow Beach. Officials say they spilled out of nets of a commercial trawler. Now, 13 News reporter Velma Scafi is live at Buckrow Beach tonight. And Velma, what's being done to clean up the smelly fish spill? Well, city workers were out here early this morning cleaning up the public beaches, but there is still dead fish out on some of the private ones. Thousands of dead fish are decaying on some of the private beaches in Buckrow. Carlos Mosley says he came out at 2.30 this morning to fish off the Buckrow Beach Pier and saw the dead fish floating in. It was more than you want to see because you'd be wanting, you know, like, belly up. You want to come to a place, you know, have fun. You don't want to wonder what's wrong with the water or what happened. So. A commercial fishing trawler harvesting Menhaden is responsible for the dead fish along the shoreline. A spokesman for the Virginia Marine Resources Commission says the spill, which was reported in a timely manner, happened Monday when a net became overloaded. Omega Proteins, a Texas-based company with a plant in Reedville, was running the trawler and is taking responsibility for cleaning up the spill in the bay. It was something to look at, though. It was on both sides of the dock. The rotting fish are not an environmental hazard, but some found the odor too much to deal with. Yes, it is. It is. I noticed it when I first came here and just tried to ignore it, but I just blamed it on low tide and, you know, but I've never smelled it like this before. Much to the disappointment of the kids in her care, Rosemary Adriani cut short their trip to the beach. I don't mind the smell. As long as you're at the beach, huh? Yeah. Now, I'm told the cleanup out in the bay could be finished today, tomorrow at the latest. And this situation, I'm also told, could have been a lot worse. A spokesman for the VMRC says wind conditions and tide conditions kept a lot of the dead fish out in the bay. Live in Hampton, Velma Scape, 13 News.